Something like 90% of men get ignored by women. This is a fact. And if you're curious as to why this happens, it's simple. Some around 10% of all the men out there get to pick from something like 90% of the women. Statistically, this is how it has to be. Just like statistically, majority of men out there will continue living the lifestyle that keeps them within the 90%. The reality is that the circle is small. Not everybody can make it. We can't all be in the top 10 or even the top 1% of men because then there would be nobody in the bottom 90%. But here's the thing. Most guys out there don't actually want to be part of the 90%. Most guys out there don't actually want to be losers, but they keep giving in to the bad habits and the things that keep them stuck in the 90%. No guy out there wakes up in the morning and says, you know what, I would just love to be ignored by girls today. Men just don't do this because men actually thrive on competition. And men want more than anything to have the power, the wealth, the status, the accomplishments. Problem is that most guys out there today are just too busy gaining the power, the wealth, and the status in RuneScape or in other video games where it doesn't really mean anything. Most guys see a video like this one and it inspires them to finally want to escape the matrix that they've been stuck in for most of their life. Then a new video game comes out and they think to themselves, well, I'll just go play that for a little bit and I'll get back to improving myself tomorrow. But then tomorrow never comes and well, the game isn't beat yet. So you put everything off until the next day and then the next week. And then before you know it, months have gone by and you're still stuck in the matrix, still getting ignored by girls, still not improving and still not making any more money. And so what happens is you end up being stuck in the 90%. Now what you guys have to understand is that girls are absolutely ruthless when it comes to selecting a mate. And girls are easily the most competitive species on the planet, but unlike guys, they are covertly competitive. You see, men are openly competitive. And so what this means is that girls want to be seen with and they want to be around a guy who is wanted by other women. This is just the way that it has always been. And because girls are so extremely competitive, this is the reason why they go for the top 10% of men and pretty much ignore the bottom 90% because they want to be able to show off that type of guy to other girls. And girls absolutely love it when other girls envy them or when other girls envy their lifestyle or when they envy the things that they have that other girls don't have. You see, this is true now more than ever before in the age of social media where girls can stalk the profiles of other girls to compare their life to the lives of other girls. And so if you're not in the top 10% of men who have pretty much ascended to a level that makes girls see you and think about how jealous it would make other girls if they were involved with you, all I can say to you is good luck. So this begs the question of how do you get out of the 90% of men who pretty much get ignored by girls? Now the problem is that most guys simply become complacent. Most guys end up with a girl who is only half interested in them and they end up at a job that only half pays them so they only make just enough money to survive and they have moments where they try to improve but then they end up falling back into complacency. Back into the latest video game and because of this they never actually gain momentum. Now if we were to imagine a rocket trying to escape the atmosphere of the earth, at no point will you see the rocket just pause and take a break to go play Minecraft. And like anything else that is not already in motion, a rocket needs the most energy when it is first lifting off. But then once it's moving it becomes easier and easier until it finally is able to break through the atmosphere and into space. And the crazy thing about this is that once it is in space or once you are able to break out, very, very little energy is needed to continue. So ask yourself this, why would it be any different with girls? Why would it be any different with money or with anything else that we would hope to improve in our lives? See, in the world that we live in right now, there are more guys now than ever before who just want to whine and cry about how girls are unfair and girls are this and girls are that instead of making decisions that they need to make and sticking to them to change their life. Just look at how many channels there are now on YouTube out there that just try to brainwash you into thinking that women are terrible and that women are evil and women are this and women are that. How many times have you guys started going to the gym only to give up a couple months later when you weren't seeing any results? How many times do we try to find a new way to make money and after failing several times, we just give up and we end up going back to our bad habits, back to settling and back to a life of mediocrity. Always remember that girls will always want and will always choose a man who makes other girls jealous. So if you take a good hard look at yourself and there's a good chance that you're not this type of man, then you've definitely got some work to do. Now the gap between the 10% of men out there who get all the girls and the 90% of men who get ignored by all the girls is growing every single day. And every day more and more men are joining the 90%. And at the same time, every day the gap between the richest and the poorest people in the world is also growing to the point where 
there really isn't much middle ground left and pretty soon we will reach a point where you will basically be either in the 10% or in the 90%. So you have to ask yourself, what side of this equation are you going to want to be on? Now, it's not that most guys out there want to be losers. Most guys do not want to be constantly ignored by women. Most guys don't want to be broke with no options. But as humans, it is our natural tendency to seek comfort. So whenever we try to blast off or leave our old life behind, we inevitably feel the gravity of complacency pulling us back down again. We all want to break free. We just keep falling back into our old habits that keep us stuck in the same place. Escaping the 90% of men is not easy, because if it were easy, then everybody would do it. But that's the whole point. It's hard because it needs to be. It's hard because the rewards are absolutely amazing when you finally break out of the 90%. Now, the reason why we have so many breakups today is because girls frequently settle for a guy that they don't really care about and they keep him in their back pocket. But then when a 10% or 1% man comes around, they pack their bags and they split. But don't get me wrong, men absolutely do this too. And it's just a matter of the survival of the fittest. This is our primal programming playing out and saying, hey, you better take this better option because it's more likely that you will survive with this option and pass on your genes than you will with the person you are with right now. And it might not seem fair, but it's just the way that it is. So what do you do if you can't change the fundamental rules of the game? The answer is, you simply learn how to get really good at the game. And momentum is the key to getting out of the 90% of men who have little to no options, little to no money, little to no status, and little to no confidence. The most important thing that you guys have to keep in mind is that the initial blast is always going to be the hardest. But as long as you guys never give up, the path to the type of man that you really want to become really does get easier and easier. And once you reach that tipping point or once you break through, very little energy is needed to maintain your new state or your new lifestyle. But the problem is that most guys just give up before they reach that tipping point. Most guys are kind of like the rocket that pauses halfway up. And so even if they're able to catch a little bit of momentum, they never actually sustain the momentum long enough to allow them to break out of the 90%. What usually happens is they end up going back to the things that keep them stuck in the 90%, like playing video games all day, not facing their fears, staying at a job that pays them peanuts while other guys get rich. And what you have to understand is that complacency or comfort is kind of like the gravity that will keep pulling you back into mediocrity every single time. And momentum, on the other hand, is like the rocket fuel that will allow you to finally break free from the 90%. So the moral of the story here is once you start to catch momentum on your journey of self-improvement, never, ever, ever stop to play Minecraft. In fact, don't stop for anything until you break free. And it is only then that you can rest. This is, in my humble opinion, the best way to escape the 90%. And with that said, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching.